cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Mm, as you can see from here, I have one fish here. I'm going to do something very simple today. I'm just going to pan fry my fish. Then, I'm going to uh, pour over some uh, Thai sweet chili sauce on top. And as well as some uh, pickle um, onion. Yeah, pickle onion. That's it. That's how simple it is. Um, let's uh, start the pan fry. Okay, as you all know, Apas always deep fry my fish. Very seldom I will pan fry. Why? Because usually big uh, deep fry is easier to give it a nicer, evenly brownish golden color. Okay, uh, pan fry is a bit harder. But yeah, today I'm going to use pan fry and I'm going to use the um, a non-stick pan to help me yeah, to do the job. Now, for deep frying fish, uh, well, sorry, pan frying fish also, the most important thing is make sure your oil and the uh, pot or pan is very hot before you put in your fish okay so um, I put a bit of oil inside yeah as you can see and it is already smoking yeah you want to wait until it is smoking then you can put in the fish I actually uh, sprinkled a little bit of salt yeah onto the fish Don't be too uh, impatient yeah, when you are frying a fish. Don't keep flipping it. The moment you keep on flipping it, um, it will, the skin will start to stick onto the bottom of your, the surface of your pan or wok. Okay, do it slowly. And uh, like I said, make sure it is hot enough. Then the moment you put it in, you heard the nice seasoning sound. It means now the pot is working towards crispifying the surface of uh, the bottom of the fish right now. So we give it probably about 10 minutes or so, uh, sorry, three, three minutes or so before we flip to the other side. Okay, so we will uh, come back shortly. My, my fish is a bit thick, yeah, it's very thick. So I actually cover, uh, cover the pan with a lid, yeah, hoping it will help for on the cooking process yeah okay just like I only cover my lid for a short while because it started to create the water vapor uh, so I removed the lid already okay now uh, this is after about three minutes plus after uh, pan frying one side yeah the first side and you can move your wok like this your pan then you can see your fish is actually not sticking to the bottom. Now, of course, I'm using uh, I'm using uh, non-stick today, so it helps, yeah. So I'm going to put it, push this fish onto the side, and voila! Woohoo! Beautiful golden brown. Don't you like this golden color? I certainly do. Okay. So let this side um, cook for another two, three minutes or so. Like I said, the meat is very thick. I'm going to try cover it again. Let me clean off the water vapor first yeah from the lid and we cover this and let it cook for another three minutes okay then we come back some say non-stick as long as you use a non-stick pan or wok to fry a fish then it will the fish will not stick actually that's not entirely true um, if your non-stick is very new should be all right but if your non-stick is always already few months um, your fish can stick also, okay? So the reason why I cover this with a lid again is to uh, create a, a something like a create a little bit of steaming effect, yeah? A create a bit of steaming effect and baking effect to the fish. 
Now it's almost another three minutes. Let's see what we've got. Wow. Extremely fragrant. Let's move the fish a little bit. Yep, moving nice. Very nice. It has to move. If it doesn't move, then it means it has stick onto the bottom of your pan. Now, let's move. Uh, turn one one more round. Okay, push the fish to the side. Use the help of your um, and a spoon, yeah, and a spatula. All right. It actually has some baking effect. Can you see? Alright, now it's almost done. All I need to do is I want to just double check whether my fish is fully cooked or not. How do we do that? You uh, check out a chopstick, okay? And you poke it into the thickest portion, the thickest portion of the fish. Then on the tip of this chopstick, you put in between your uh, upper upper lips and below your between your upper lips and your nose. If it's hot, warm, then it is already cooked. Okay, let me try again. Poke this to the middle of it, the the, the center part. Yep, it's definitely warm inside. Yes, that's been warm inside. My fish is now cooked. So let me show you how I will uh, serve the fish. Okay, here's my fish. This fish is actually, if I really, uh, uh, if you are really in uh, detail, then this is actually half pan fry, half baked. <laughs> okay, so we have some Thai chili sauce. Just gently pull over your Thai chili sauce on top of the fish. This is going to be so appetizing. Okay. All right. And to make the dish even more appetizing, actually I saw this on the one of the food blog recently. There's one restaurant do like this. We put in some pickled onion to go together. Why? I don't know, but I think it does go well together. Yeah? Because the pickled onion is uh, savory and uh, sourish. Very sourish, very interesting combination. And you can buy your pickled onion in any uh, stores, any supermarket, local supermarket. Okay, so here's my. Uh, uh, fried fish with Thai chili, Thai sweet chili sauce. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up on Facebook fan page, you click both like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up on YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the notification button. Bye bye.